Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. Here we are at the first store today, and look what catches my eye. It's the Rebel Style Retaliator. It's funny how you start seeing the same stuff over and over again after you already picked one up. And here we have another Icon Blaster, the original Element. Under here was a nice long shot with its original yellow mag, and below that was a Centurion, no mag. Lots of dart tag stuff today. There's even some cool Vortex stuff, like this white Proton. Last cool thing I see here today is this long strike for $3, but there was nothing I needed in this store, so I went on to the next one. Next stop and I already spot something. Here we have one of my favorite blasters, the Rebel Rapid Red, and this one has its mag. Plus it's only $2? I'll be taking that. Digging some more, I see the Modulus ECS-10, and next to that, a Rival Atlas, which is a two-round shotgun-style blaster. I grabbed the Atlas and gave Garrett a call to see if he was looking for one. He said he didn't need one, so I put it back before I left. Then I turn around, and right in the floor below me was a massive Mega Mastodon. This place has quite a bit of goodies today. Here we have another cool Rebel motorized pistol. This is something I wasn't sure if I'd get or not, so I threw it in the cart while I made my decision. After that, I saw a sealed package that had the Nerf logo on it, so I pulled it out, and then it turned out to be Zombie Strike Arrows. These are used in special blasters like the Dreadbolt, and you don't really come across these very often. Oh boy, now for the exciting part. I made my way down the aisle towards the large items, and I couldn't believe what I saw. Get out of here, Tonka Truck! Another rival nemesis? I can't believe it! And this one's cheaper than the first one we found on episode 4, oh my gosh! What an awesome bunch of finds at this store today. Let's go check out and then move on to the last store. Last stop of the day, and I come across something rather new, a Fortnite Super Soaker. That just means the Dart Blasters are gonna be showing up soon too. Here we have a Demolisher, no rocket though. There's a few other cool things in here like this old Rapid 20. Then I see something vintage from the Max Force line. This right here is a sawtooth. It's missing a lot of its parts, but it has a really cool design. And I've seen some other people online make a, a strife integration with these. It looks really cool. No blasters for me at this store today, so I decided to go over and check the toy bags. To my surprise, I find some Nerf mags and a couple of drums. There was a Raider 35 drum and a 25 round drum, so I grabbed those and I headed out.
And that does it for our trip. I went home with a bunch of goods today, including the Rapid Red, another Kinex K-Force that I found after my camera died, a lightsaber, some drums and mags, a rival nemesis, and the Mega Mastodon. Another awesome haul today. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.